Good morning, good evening, good night from whichever part of the world you are watching us from. Thank you again for joining us in this tutorial where we are going to learn how to transfer emails from one Gmail account to another. Here, I'm already logged in into one email here and another email here. Both are Gmail accounts. So now, if I want to transfer emails from one Gmail account to another, Let's say I want to transfer from this account to this account. So I'll just come to the account where I want to transfer the emails to. Then click on the settings here. And then click on all settings. And then it will bring you to this site where you can see general labels, inbox, accounts and import, filter and blocked addresses, forwarding and POP IMAP. This is the part you need to click for a start. So you click on forwarding and POP IMAP. So you notice here we have the POP download and the settings here for POP is disabled. You can enable POP, that is POP, for all email or you can enable POP for mail that arrives from now on. To just explain a bit more, let me click on learn more here and to read Gmail messages on the other clients using POP, you need to know two differences between IMAP and POP. Now, both are ways of reading your Gmail messages in other emails, but with IMAP, IMAP can be used across multiple devices and emails are synced in real time. But if you go for POP, POP can only be used for single computer and emails are not synced in real time. And instead, they are downloaded and you decide how often you want to download the new files. So that is the difference. So coming back here, we can click on enable pop for all email. We click on that. And then down here, we click on save changes. And now the changes are being saved. And that has been saved. So we are now going to come from this email and go to the new email where we want our emails transfer to the email that we have just changed the settings here for. So I'll go to my new email address and then still click on settings at the top and then click on all settings. And now you remember in the first one, we clicked on forwarding and POP in the email that is supposed to receive all the other emails from this email we are now working on. So in this case now, after clicking on that, instead of coming to forwarding and POP or IMAP, you'll click on accounts and import. And then you'll notice we have the details here, change account settings using Gmail for work. And then we have import email and contacts here. This is the part where now we need to work on. So you'll click on email, import mail and contacts. And it will open in a new tab here, a float window. And then you sign in to your other email account. What account do you want to import from? So you want to import from, you type the account there, and then you click now on continue. And then you sign in to your other email account. And then you sign in to your email account, confirm import of mail and contacts. You simply press continue again and follow the instructions. So a new pop-up window comes up here. And now we choose the account we want to import from and make sure you need to continue to Gmail Shadow Crowd migration. You now select the account you want to choose from. So remember, you must have logged in to the account that you want to transfer from. In case that is not the case, you can use another account. So we select the first account here, the one that you want to transfer emails from. And then down here, you scroll down and click on allow. And you notice authentication successful. Please close this window to continue. So we are going to close that window. And now you notice step two, we import the options here. So we can import contacts, we can import mail, and we can import new mail for the next 30 days. So what you do here is you select what you want to import. For instance, you want to import contacts or you don't, you check or uncheck. So we just want to import maybe, we want to import new emails for the next 30 days. We'll click on that. 
if we just we want to import email we click on that or we can check all the three so now let's just import contacts because importing these emails sometimes may take a lot of time and so we don't want to just dwell on waiting when it is importing so let's just import contacts because there may be very few here then click on start import but in your case if you want to import the emails you just check here click on start import and now it is checking and it has finished you need notice the step three your contacts are being imported it may take several hours sometimes up to two days before you start to see imported messages you can close this window and keep using gmail or even log out and close your browser and the importing will still continue so we just click on ok and that's why you noticed i didn't select a lot of things that need to be imported just click on ok now and now you notice our details have been added here here you notice we have import mail and contacts we have joshnet 001 and the details here are imported successfully and then you notice the send mail are from joshnet at gmail.com so these are two different emails the difference is just 001 so if you now come back to our email here and now you notice in my email account now at the top here i've gotten this notification import complete your contacts from joshnet at gmail.com have finished importing and that means now all the contacts that were in the other email have been added here if i had also selected emails then they could have now been added here and i can now access them from this part if you want to disconnect your email now so that you stop importing the emails you still do the same you come to settings and then all settings and it brings you here so you notice this account is linked to joshnet at gmail.com joshnet001 at gmail.com you simply come to the right hand side and click on remove and what that will do is just remove your account link the account you linked to this email so that you no longer have any links added here you want to import again or to add an, a different email the same process click on import then put the email here and then click on continue select the account remember this is just the basic process of reconnecting you click on allow down here and then the authentication is complete then you just close this window and then now it's checking and then again just like we did select what you need to import maybe you just want to import mail just uncheck the others and just remain with mail just click on start import and in that case all the emails will be imported so i hope this has been helpful that is simply how you transfer emails from one gmail account to another and as i've demonstrated you can also import contacts you can also import new emails for a duration of up to 30 days i hope this has been helpful kindly like this video share and subscribe to our youtube channel